What's the name of the goddess? I'm more curious to see this festival is about uh, Druda, like no, uh, Dru Draga, Dragu, Dragu, the uh, the um, the goddess. Goddess. Is this a Dragu? No. This is a living goddess. Living goddess. A human goddess. She lives in here. Oh, oh she lives here. Yes, she lives in here. A human goddess. Uh, what is she? Yeah. Let me explain you together. One place, we gather and let you what is this house for. So this is a house of living goddess Kumari. She's now eight years old and she's a reincarnate. Eight. 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 Yes. She was chosen so four she's years like a, ago. A queen. Uh, she's not a queen. She's a living goddess, a human goddess. To become a goddess, she must have thirty-two different offerings. Thirty-two, sorry. Offerings, qualities. Oh. Okay. She must have 32 different qualities to become a goddess and that will be examined by the Hindu and the Buddhist priest. So first of all, she must be from a Buddhist community. Mm -hmm. okay. Second, she must have a same surname as Buddha. Okay. So first Buddha of the universe, the human Buddha, he was born in Nepal, in Lumbini, one of the districts of Nepal. He was born at there 563 BC, before Christ. And the real name is not Buddha. Buddha is a title. Like Dalai Lama is a title. Yeah. The real name of Buddha, we call him Shakke Mani Siddhartha Gautam. Shakke, it was his family name. So this girl also must be from the same group as Buddha, from a Shakke family. And in third, she should be born in full moon day. She must have no any birthmark, no any scars, round and white face, mature teeth, body like a banyan tree means not very fat, eye like a cow means a bigger eye, heart like a lion means a brave heart, skin like a deer means good kind of skin. And even these are not very hard tests. On the last day, we take this girl to the temple of Kali, which is two minutes from here. Later, I'll show you this temple. Make this girl live in the temple for 48 hours on a dark room. Try to make her scary, frightened. She cry, scream, she'll be let free, but she'll be denied as a goddess. This will be a good video. Pretty like normal, smiling, everything okay. Then we'll sacrifice the animal in front of her and she have to watch the animal killing as well. And if still she's not frightened, we'll take her separately one room and make her identify a cloth from a previous Kumari. We have many, many cloths on the wall, all look same, all look red, but she have to pick the original one. And she pick the original one, then we believe that the soul of the Kali is transported to her. She'll be chosen as a human goddess, as a living goddess, and come and live in this palace until the natural privity. Until the natural privity menstruation. So she is actually there? Yes, she's up there. So when she has her menstrual period, then... Is she in the window? No. See, because of the festival now, because the festival is closing, but after when you back from your trekking, you come one day here, and she come on the window, she giving... Uh, so she's not here today? No, she's having a procession. She's there, but inside. She not come on the window today. So when she has menstrual period, then she marries? Uh, after that, she can go to public life. She can do whatever she likes to do. Marry, work, whatever she likes to do. And then what happens after? After that, she's respected by the society, honored by the society as ex-Kumari. But she can work, study, whatever she like to do. The reason of she stay here, in the morning she have ritual, meditation, practical divine power, and in midday we provide a private teacher to teach her some education. From the school teacher will come there and teach her some education as well. And after three weeks she can join to normal life, study, work, whatever she like to do. And wow. she's chosen from a Buddhist community, but she represents as a human form of Hindu goddess Kali. She's combined with Hindu and Buddhism together. And why Hindu and Buddhism combine is most difficult part to understand yourself, but if you deserve to learn, you hire me. This Mandal explains why Hindu and Buddhism combine. Oh, sorry. Look like a stone, but the description behind. If you look from the sky to the down to the center, this is aerial view of Buddha Stupa, like a monkey temple, like a Baudana. Circle represents universe. And the whole thing has a one word we call mandala. But we are out of the mandala. Our goal is to achieve in nirvana. Center is nirvana. Buddha is here, but we are outside. And why we are outside? Because we have inner battery, ego, proud, greedy, anger, discrimination. <coughs> because of this thing, we have to born so many times on this earth. And reborn means suffer in Buddhism. But Buddha told that everybody can become Buddha. 
young men, old men, male, female, Nepali, Chinese, American, Australian, Canadian, uh, Polish, everybody can become Buddha by meditation, by karma, by getting enlightenment, like Buddha did. So when you meditate ourselves, by our mind, by karma, by action, we pass one by one obstacle of the mandala, by circle of life, by many leaves of. And in the end, when you pass 13 circle of the stupa, then we are in the pinnacle of the stupa, and once the pinnacle of the stupa, we are enlightened, we become Buddha, we are in nirvana. And once the nirvana, we are in eternal life. No more reborn, no more suffering. But Buddhism believes that until we are not enlightened, until we don't become Buddha, we rebirth again and again, again and again, again and again. And we will be rebirth again in 49 days that Buddhist belief. As soon as we die, after 49 days, we will be rebirth again into the samsara, into the wheel of life. According to the Buddhist philosophy, now we are in samsara. Buddha is in nirvana, we are in samsara. And what is samsara? Samsara, we cannot see in the temple. Mandala we can see in the temple, statue in the temple, but samsara only we can see in the Tibetan monastery, right of the door, they paint directly on the wall or they hang the painting painted by monks, or you can see in the galleries, part of my tour. Later I'll explain what is samsara, we deserve to learn, it's part of my tour, we're going to learn about samsara as well like that. And Thank you. I'm okay, Karen. And if you see in the mandala, there's a four directions try to teach us west, east, north, south, from anywhere. Welcome to Nirvana. Hindu, Christian, Muslim, Jewish, any tradition, any culture can be combined with Buddhism. The reason why, in fact, Buddhism is not a religion, it's a philosophy, it's a way of life. That's why the Nepal, Hindu, and Buddhism combine. Hindus are the Buddhists in Nepal. All the stupid Nepal is supposed to buy the Hindus. One will become monk, no more security, vegetarian, single man, single woman, for the man become monk, for the woman become none. And second practical is Lama. Lama means half monk, 50%. They also go to monastery and learn the Lama job, which is Buddhism, teach to the public, they are teachers. This Lord, not this, that is to be a Lama. They can help the marriage and attach with the society as well. And third practical is public Buddhism, public like me. Why we are public Buddhists? We are totally attached to society. I like my wife, children, camera, internet, we like to be in Mars, we change country, we change girlfriend, wife, and husband to be happy. We like Mexican dance. We like Western body festival. We like internet. We like football. We totally attend the society. So we try to follow some of the instructions of Buddha. Not try to harm people, not try to kill anymore. We just medication, we just Buddha. We are preparing to be Lama, Mong, or Buddha. We practical three ways. Public, Lama, Mong. Everybody can become Buddha, but not everybody can become Christ or Jesus. Then the picture you want to text, then we go. So, just question. Yes. Why foreigners cannot go inside? Now some of the places they put secrets. The foreigner only can see from the window on the ordinary side. They come on the window. This is a festival now, they close it. Yes, but why foreigners cannot go inside? They're not allowed. Uh, local, uh, local can go. Uh, it's for them to try to make some of the place free job. Okay. Someone needs to freeze up. Oh, shit. On the top is the golden window, peacock window, lot of beautiful architecture. Yeah. Yeah. How old is this? This is from the 17th century. Gar means house. So she lives here? Yes. With her family? Uh, with the priest family, not with her family. Our family can't live with her until the menstruation. After the menstruation, she can go back home and live with the family. But this is here. The family can visit here, but evening time they have to go back home. So she's taken by the take carrier okay? and the priest. Yes. Two type of monastery, one Tibetan monastery with a golden roof, with a marble stone, Nepali monastery with a clay brick and a wood. It's from a 7th century, 1,300 years old monastery. You can imagine, world free job. Renovated 1,300 years old, 7th century. Yes, yes, yes. You can read it in there.
and that's the statue of Buddha. And the priest is making a ritual, meditation, tactical design for the ritual. Hey, I have a, what happened to the last goddess? The last goddess got married, right? Can I take a picture? Uh, yeah, after the menstruation, she go back home, they can be married. Like well. previous to her, there was another goddess. Yeah. So she got married yeah. to whom? Do you keep uh, track? Some of the men, Nepali men. A Nepali men, and so she they, lives here. She lives right? in Kemen. And then Kemen you stop being a goddess when you got married. No, no. After the menstruation, they stop. Oh. And after that, they can do whatever they want. Okay. Under the menstruation, they are oh. goddess. When they have a first spirit, then they change. So, so it's like a virgin. Kumari means virgin. A virgin. Gotcha. Yeah. Virgin. Yeah. Okay. Kumari means virgin. So, so do you get any uh, tax benefits for being a goddess? Like you know, do you get she any? Got a, she got a kind of like you know, what do you get? Like a free, I don't know, free momo. She got uh, supported by the government, small money. Small money. Okay. Yeah. Wow, there's a lot of goddesses yeah. here. I won't be surprised if I met one today. Yeah. Earlier, I'll tell you. Long story. I'll show you my earlier video. Yeah, I'll explain later. It's kind of nice. So instead of be, being wanting to be rich, people would rather be a goddess. Yeah. It's yeah. Qu quite the concept, actually. He left already. Is that done? Is that 2000? Is that it? Where did it go? Is he in front of us? Okay. Is he over here? Kelly. Destroyed by the Arctic in 2015. The 55 people die inside here. It was totally, totally collapsed. And totally collapsed. And it collapsed and it's already constructed. This temple is made by one single tree in 12th century. Made by one single tree in 12th century. And name of the cat men do derived from this temple, written from this temple. Yeah, remember that until 1947, no cement, no plaster, no concrete. Everything is to made by wood and clay bricks. How people do You can actually see the mountains in the background. Is that uh, is that Mount Everest? Which direction? No. Can you see it? From this side. For Kathmandu, it's too far. So this temple named the Kathmandu. Kat means wood, Mandu means house, temple or city. So Kathmandu means wood and city, wood and house, wood and temple. Until 1947, no cement, no plaster, no concrete. Everything is made by wood, that's called Kathmandu. Kat means wood, Mandu means house, temple or city. Kat, 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 Kathmandu means wood and city, wood and house. Wood and temple. So wood is really important. Yes. Um, most, yeah, of the, yeah. most of the construction in this valley was made by wood. Good, good, good. So Giddy, beside wood, what is the most valuable resource or most valuable items? Sorry? Like, you know, Sri Lanka, yeah. tea and gemstones, number yeah. one. In Nepal, wood yeah. is important, wood, is there? Wood carving, metal carving. Metal carving. Metal carving. And of yeah. course, tourism, mountain. Uh, metal carving, yeah. wood carving, and tanka painting. What? And tanka tanka. painting? Uh, art. art. Later, I'll show you. Okay. Tanka okay. is a genuine painting of Nepal. Okay. It's okay. 2000 years, 3000 years since they begin to paint, you know? And nowadays, also, we can see later, I'll show you. Okay. Stop posing. <laughs> You're posing in the rain. The heck? <laughs> You're posing in the rain. Temple of Vishnu, the God of Protection. In Hinduism, there are 333 million gods and goddesses, more than our population. But very important are three gods, superpower. They are known as Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva. <laughs> Brahma is God of creation, Vishnu is God of protection, and Shiva is God of power and destruction. These are three important gods, creator, protector, destroyer. Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva. And in time of God, millions of years ago, there's no taxi, no bicycle, no airplane to travel. Millions of years ago, oh, right. there was no technology of no. traveling with airplane or taxi. So at the time also, we believe that God and Goddesses had their own transportation. They use as animal or the birds as their transportation. So Vishnu, the God of protection, if you had to travel, this is a personal vehicle, Garuda with the wings. 
is the personal vehicle of Lord Vishnu. That's called Garuda. You go to Indonesia, Garuda Airlines. The oh, yes. national airlines of Indonesia, named from the vehicle of Hindu god to the Islamic country. Garuda, Garuda Airlines. And Siva, the Hindu god, his transportation is ox. Ox? A bull. Yeah, a bull. And a his bull. wife, Parvati or Kali, same horse transportation is lion. So every god and goddesses, they had their own transportation. They used as animal or the birds. The reason at a time there's no science. Very good. Great. I hope you enjoyed my explanation. Oh, as you'll be on YouTube. Don't worry. I'm going to reread all the closed caption okay. afterwards. It's beautiful. Okay, so I'll be very popular now. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. You'll be famous. I will be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, a lot of people will come to take an autograph. <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> by the earthquake in 2015 in process of reconstruction as a nickname we call Hippie Temple. Hippie Temple. And why call Hippie Temple? We have to remember that until 1947 Nepal not allowed to come any tourist. Our country was secret. All the border was closed. Okay, it's a very new tourism in Nepal. But after 1947 our government welcomed tourists. In the beginning, when the Western people came in Nepal, they have no idea what kind of country, what kind of religion, what kind of clothes they wear. They more come like a VIP with a suit and tie, with a perfume from an airport, like a gentleman, gentleman. And when you come to the airport, at the time for the hotel, they have to come one minute from here, it's called Fikri Street. Not in Tamil. Tamil, it was the farming place. There was a rice plant, wheat plant, and wild marijuana growing. Between 35 years in Tamil, there been hotel, restaurant, massage, bar, disco. It became in 60s, 70s, 80s in Cab Mandu. For the hotel, you have to come one minute from here. It's called Fifty Street. Soon as tourists come, they log in inside the hotel. They walk around a couple of minutes, direct to the center of the Darbar Square. They move to the center of the Darbar Square. They hardly see one car in five hours, one taxi in four hours. No rich man, no businessman, no guide, no picture system. It's like a paradise on earth. But soon as I near by this temple, taking a picture, just the marijuana, ganja. Smoked by Yogi, Sadhu, Baba, the holy man. They've been smoking for thousands of years. They're smoking in this temple in 60s, 70s, 80s. When tourists come here, they also smell the marijuana. Some of them are frightened, they run away. Some of them are prostrated around. Some of them are offered to smoke. And some of the tourists think, why not? I'm in holiday. What is for the experience? They smoke it and become strong. Go back to the hotel, change their suit and tie, go inside the bed, buy some cotton, hang a movie on the shop, and feel and become a hippie. And they're stuck in here for 10, 20 years. No go back to America, no go back to Europe. They go to, they stay here, they go to Europe by guitar, come here to Bob Marley song, Rolling Stone, Rock and Roll, having a Johnny card. So they had a great entertainment until the late 80s. But after the late 80s, children with hippies disappeared. Why? They become old. So they would settle down again to the Europe, to the America, wherever they came from. Luckily, we walked through here, remember white people with dreadlock, with the lungi, with the beer pit. We call them name as hippie. And that was the center for hippies to chill out, to have entertainment. That's a nickname we call hippie temple. And hotel area, two minutes from here, is called Fifty Street. They have Hassis Cake, Hassis Pie, Pleasure Room, Ricard on the street, with guns on the street, and guitar on the street, and Freedom on the street. That's not a freaky name, they call Fifty Street or Freedom Street. And even the Beatles came in 1970 in Kathmandu, and they stayed nearby Fifty Street. Now they call John Lennon Street. And they went back to Europe. They composed the song of Catmenu and sing it. It was popular in the 70s. And even the Bob Seger, you know Bob Seger? Bob Seger. I was singing from a Catmenu in the 90s. The song called Kekke Kekke Catmenu. If you ever get out of here, Kekke Kekke Catmenu. You can type in the Google Bob Seger, just come Kekke Kekke Catmenu and beat us with Catmenu. You can find the song from Bob Seger. This is ex hippie dragon. Not all trees become hippie though. Some they came as a tree, went back as a tree. Be nice. Right. 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 Yeah. 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 Welcome to this city. Nepal is the most, in the world the most country that is to tourists. Because our religion says foreigner means God. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh shit, they know. I haven't rewatched it. <laughs> I haven't been listening. I'm sorry. But I'll, I'll come back and once I record it, I'll, I'll post it. I'll share it with you guys. You guys can listen. I doubt you guys will listen to it. You would. I'm actually glad I can record this because sometimes you can't record a museum or a, no, a curation thing. Okay. Because you pay the extra 10, 20 bucks in the museum and they give you the headsets. You can see the beautiful temples around. This is also a part or this is something else? It's a temple as well. Temple is part of the palace. It's old king's palace. So it's quite long all the way to around. How's your waterproof jacket holding up? If you wear that for the hike, is it going to be uh, waterproof? Is your waterproof? It should be waterproof, yeah. It feels a little bit damp inside, but I'm sure it's waterproof. I, I uh, waterproofed it before I came Oh, you, you put another layer. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, say that again? It's a manifestation of Shiva, reincarnation oh, of Shiva. Yeah. So you can see here the beautiful temple. This is a manifestation of Shiva, incarnation of Shiva. Normally Shiva have two hands like us, but when he feels that the demons are born in his universe, its universe is danger from the devil. Then Shiva take an incarnation with the multi arms, then he will battle with the demons and kill the demons. And after that he make a necklace out of his skulls of demons and wave around his neck. In the description of Shiva, anger face of Shiva, we call it the name Kal Bhairav, which means God of Death and a Justice. Mm. The God of Death and a Justice. Manifestation of Shiva. There's goats over there. Yeah, holy goats. Oh, holy holy goats. Oh, why are they holy goats? Because these goats are offered in name of temple by the devotees and which offered by the devotees in the name of temple, they will not kill and eat. They will die as a naturally. So it's a lucky goat, a holy goat. They will not kill and eat by people. They will die naturally. Okay. And, uh, take some poo back. Holy shit. Holy cows. Can we take the poo? It will be holy shit. <laughs> Is it possible to touch them? Yeah, no? you can touch. But take care. Sometimes they hit you. No. See, Ranja, Ranja. They're going to hit you. Take care. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, Stompy. He gets too much attention. I don't, I don't think she likes it. Bye.
It's just goat, okay? So this goat, people will not eat it. They die naturally. Okay, okay they die as... It's a lucky goat. Lucky goat. You are very nice. How is it chosen? Who chose the goat? Yeah, right. some, some people like, uh, oh, sorry. offer it. Offer, okay. offer it. Give all this offer it in the name of God. A good karma. Not this tree. Not this tree, this type of tree. So this type of tree, it is claimed as a holy tree. We meditate under, we worship it. It's called Bodhi tree, we can call Banyan tree, or Nepalese word we call Pipal tree. Pipal. The tree that he meditated, is that somewhere in India or Nepal? Uh, the Buddha meditated not India nor Nepal. In the time of Buddha, there was no India. But now it's under the India. Okay? It's what called province? Bodhagaya. The area Bodh name is Bodhagaya. Okay, when there was Bodhagaya, there was no India. India is a very new country. 1947, it became India. Before that, there's many, many countries. Right? Yeah, I Google it before. Yes. I, yeah. So because India have no identity until 1947, they have no country. Okay? They were ruled by British. They ruled many, many kingdoms of India. Like Israel, Israel, also a new country. India is a new country. <laughs> this is a temple of Indiana Jones temple. Maybe you saw the movie called Temple of Doom. Yeah. At the movie you see the figure of Kali with multi arms. On the movie they call Gods of Doom, but in Hinduism they recognize as Kali. And the temple of the multi arms. On the movie they shot under her story. But they didn't start the movie in here, okay? Oh. They made a story under her story. They call Kali Mata on the movie. And the temple of her. And this is where we keep living Goddess Kumari. 48 hours in a dark room, meditation, sacrificing animals, this is where we testify the girl. And this temple is open once a year for the October for the people. That that festival was four days ago. They opened to the public this gate, and inside there they sacrificed 108 buffalo, 108 goat, 108 hen. And why the number 108? So why? So you have to remember that before the science, long time ago there was no science, but there was astrology. So long time ago the astrology they studied about the universe and described that there are the nine planets in the universe. They also studied about the universe and the time they calculate and describe that there's 12 months on a year. So nine planets multiplied by 12 months. Okay. Nine times 12 equals 108. According to Hindu uh -huh. astrology, 108 is kind of secret number and Hindus use it many holy precisions. And even the Buddhists, they practical 108 mala beats, the prayer beats, we count as 108 beats. What happened if they eventually find more than nine planets, like 12? Will Buddhism change? Uh, no. Because that is according to the uh, uh, astrology. So science, sometimes yeah, they say eight, true. sometimes they say nine, sometimes they're still confused. Science also is okay. still revising. And if there was no astrology, there will be no science now. Science is coming through the astrology. In the beginning, they studied astrology and they revised some of the things and they described as science. Okay? Some they put the same way, some still they follow the same way, some they put new uh, researchers and this new discovery. Right? Like, like the Ishta calendar, still used. We also in, use in Nepal lunar calendar. Mm -hmm. We don't use solar calendar, we use lunar calendar. Still, we work in that, yeah. even in the modern world. Yeah. Our calendar is 2079. Is Every year? country is slightly different. In Mongolia, there's yeah. male and female. You got Plus, it. they have like five different elements. Yes. Like, sim like I know the elements, yeah. like yeah. here, so yeah. like, I forgot, forgot four or five. Yeah. Japanese is slightly different, or is it the same? Yeah. Every country, every religion is slightly uh, Actually, Buddhism is a philosophy. That's the reason in Buddhism they mix some of the concept, culture, tradition. Like in Japan, they call Japanese Buddhism. Why they call Japanese Buddhism? Because they mix some of their concept under the Buddhism. Though the principle is same. <laughs> okay? The restoration is same to be Nirvana. Just they follow, they mix some of the culture, tradition. When you speak Buddhism in many countries, they uh, mix with their idea or culture or tradition. Like they call it Tibet, Tibetan Buddhism. There's not Tibetan Buddhism in the world, but the Tibetan mix some of the culture and follow the same principle of Buddha. Mm -hmm. So in the end, they all follow the Buddha's principle. Right. Like the destiny, the scattering, perfection, the destiny, the same. Okay? In the end, they're all in the to go ahead. So they call scattering, after this, after this time. But in the end, they're all in the end. Ha, ha, ha.
Next. <laughs> That's good. They, they, tricky, try. Okay. they obviously have all this, you know, technology. Mm -hmm. okay. So you can choose the airport, the few now, ones, and you can try and land. I think it's too early to yeah. see the things, but you can see from this side. Okay. There's erotic Kama Sutra. Oh, Sex I've heard of these. Okay. Erotic. Oh, yes, I can see. Yes. Okay. This has been in 15th century. And why erotic temple in public area? Because in 15th century in Nepal, Buddhism is very popular. So all the young people want to become a monk. I want to become a monk. I want to become a monk. And all the young people, old people want to become a monk. And all become monks, no marry, no children, no man, power for the country to work. So I'll disturb them. Government couldn't disturb the Buddhism. So they've been erotic in public area. When people come here for sightseeing, journey, traveling, whenever I am that erotic, they have one more desire. Oh, maybe not yet monk. Maybe this. Maybe they have to disturb the mind of people. Second reason for sexual education. Third reason is to grow the population. And also in Hinduism, we use Kamachan temple for the fertility. Yes. For example, like if some couples are married. All different. Yeah, yeah. We call Kama Sutra. Kama means sex. Sutra means skills. Sex skills. How many uh, sexual positions are there? In this temple is 24 down, 24 up, 48 positions. Oh, we know more than 24. <laughs> right? We know so we have 88 60 positions. 69. 69. <laughs> we have 88 positions. We take clock away. No pictures? Yeah, you, you can take, you can take. Nepali Bursulai. Nepali Bursulai. Nepali Bursulai, okay? He's a Nepali Bursulai. Come to master. Oh, no, the, no, the no, thunder. Take picture. Very famous. Bursulai. 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 Like come to master. <laughs> Making fun, okay? Ben, when Jim got the cat, I oh. Got it? Holy shit. Not bullshit, but it's cow seat. <laughs> what did you say? It's not a bullshit, but it's a cow seat. <laughs> wow. It looks like a donkey, doesn't it? I don't really see it on there. No, I'm just looking at That's the third eye right there. <laughs> so neat.
give him a tip? I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> And your friend want a toilet? I show you. Put your back first here. Put your back. You put your back. You want a toilet, right? Restroom. Yes, restroom. Yeah, you just take out your back. Just. Crystal mountain. How 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 high? That's uh, seven thousand. Oh, this is seven thousand. Evo. Seven thousand Evo. So, are you doing any training? Me, it's uh, not track. It's just a small bike. He he has a lot of track. Yeah, but you you you. He is not track. Really? So yeah. you live just at the footsteps of Himalayas and you don't go anywhere? No, no. I go 3,000, 4,000 is normal. That's a normal. I, oh, I mean, right. it's not like 7,000. Oh, no, like no, six no. Times. What's the significance of the six or seven? Seven, seven uh, god, gods and then there's one monster? This is a Panza Buddha, five different Buddha. Oh, five different Buddha. And then, is that a Buddha too? This is a perfection. This is a one to see the God of Wisdom. Like here, I have oh, God of Wisdom. So, so five God. Why are there five Buddha? Different. Yeah, Buddha is five and Panza Buddha. Oh. Punjab, Punjab Buddha is five. Yeah, Panza means five, five Buddha. Oh, five Buddha. Like what? These are his mandala, look at this. Oh, that's what we were explaining. Yeah, we're going to learn. Together. When she okay. come, we together. Do you have a picture of the dragu? Is it the dragu? The uh, no, no, the um, the festival right now. What is it called? The side. The, side. the 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 goddess that destroyed the demon. The name of the goddess is uh, dragu. Right? Okay. Durga. Durga. Do you have a picture of Durga in the museum? Dur yeah. Small one, but small. Yeah, sit down here, near, you sit near, so we'll learn something from here. Come sit here. Oh, I'm okay with from here. Because you'll not see detail from here. You have to come here. Come here, sit here. Yeah. Yeah. So let me give you a small briefing and other teacher will explain it. This whole thing is called Tanka painting in Nepal. So in Nepal, most of the things you uh, see in Nepal from India or China, clothes, everything. But these are genuine paintings painted by Nepalese people. It represents Nepal like Everest mountain and this painting. And these are known as Thangka painting. Meaning of Thangka is like return, record under the past history of Buddhism is called Thangka. Normal painting, we just call painting. Which are painted under Buddhism, then we call Thangka painting. Under Thangka painting, there's 108 varieties. Out of that, four designs are very popular. One is modern mandala, designed by Dalai Lama. It's called Kala Chakra Mandala. It's like this kind, that one is This is mandala, designed by Dalai Lama. And what's the story behind? Why he created this mandala? What's the story behind? The teacher will explain you, I don't know everything. If I know everything, I'll be God. So he will explain you, what's the story of Dalai Lama? Yeah, okay, yeah. these are the traditional art in Nepal. We call Thangka painting. And such so a painting art is painted on the cotton. This is a matrix is canvas and color different natural pigment. So the sign is they put in the real goal also. Mandala is always you can see the round circle that is a represent universe for the cosmos. And this kind of mandala people are used for the meditation. If you look at it in the center, there is a lotus flower in the middle, and you can see the shape of the pyramid. This looks like a pyramid, right? Mm -hmm. When you concentrate your mind in the center, that's becoming comes out like a 3D. Mm -hmm. This is a three-dimensional kind of a building, like a structure of the stupa in the All sky right. view. And these are in the bottom part, there is five different elements. That's called the wisdom. Space, wind, fire, water, and earth. Inside is like a palace, right? And there is three different entrance doors. It's a body door, a speech door, and mind door. If we make the balance, our body, speech, and mind, that means we get enlightenment in the center. That's called nirvana. And this kind of mandala, first time, he designed on the floor with the sand. 
Have you seen also somewhere? Yeah. Maybe sometime would you watch in the House of Cards in the US, the TV show program? Yeah. House of Cards. Mm -hmm. The same mandala they make on the floor, beautiful sand, but that sand mandala they don't keep long time. When they make it finished, it's really beautiful, but later they make big ceremony, then after they make destroy their mandalas. Mm -hmm. It means they try to teach the people in the world, lots of things are beautiful, but nothing is a forever. It's try to teach the empowerment message. That's why they make destroy that mandalas and let all they collect that sand and they throw into the river. When they put into the river, water goes all over the world and mandalas masses goes all over the world for the world peace, prosperity and protection symbolize. Like that concept you can see on the cotton canvas. Okay, this is a new concept was Dalai Lama. I've never seen this painting before. Mm -hmm. never I've seen never seen it. I've no. heard so much about yeah. him and but you heard about you know, before, the right? philosophy of enlightenment. I've never seen the painting like this. This is a genuine person. Why, why don't why I don't see these as postcards? Uh -huh. They don't have in postcards. Sometimes by chance, uh -huh. only in painting. Postcards you can see like a Buddha, like this kind. Of How much is a smallest art like this? Uh, they will show you first. You learn the samsara. The hanging cap. Yeah. It's smaller also, like, like one more, this also interesting part. And this is the samsara, the Buddhist philosophy. Mm -hmm. As I told you, That's until crazy. we don't become Buddha, we come back again and again, again and again, we're back to samsara, this is samsara. And what is samsara? The teacher is explaining yeah, This is the philosophy of the Buddhism, we call the wheel of life. These are our life, that circle of life. People are born to the death, what we are doing. It's all, you can see the activity of the human beings, that's a circle of life. And this inside is called samsara. Samsara means rebirth, reincarnation by the, our karma, by the, our action. And why we are suffering inside of the samsara? Because lots of human beings have the three different inner bad things. There is in the center three different animals, each other fighting, like chasing. I mean, like a snake is a symbol of anger, bird is a symbol of desire, pig is a symbol of ignorance. So the anger, desire, ignorance are basic things, but it's a main source of the suffering of human beings. A lot of people are suffer from the such ego. That's why what they believe, this kind of inner bad things, if we control by the meditation, we have the positive thoughts in our mind. That means life are always luxurious part of the samsara, like a heaven realms. But sometimes people, they cannot control. They do the negative like bad action. That means they are suffering in the hell. This is exact hell realms. And after the hell, they are reincarnated, they rebirth. Some life, animal life, they rebirth. Some life is like hungry ghost, they rebirth. This is a human life, it's a demigod, and this is a god life. That's a called samsara. Rebirth, reincarnation by the, our karma, by the, our action. That's why Buddha also tried to teach this present life. If you control the, these things, no more suffer inside of the samsara. Like liberation from samsara is a way to the nirvana. That's eternal. So nirvana is there, samsara is there. We are in the samsara, Buddha is behind the samsara. And he's a god of protection, and sometimes his face looks like a scary, angry, but doesn't mean that he is control of the bad emotion of the human nature. That's why he has the third eye. Third eye is a god of justice, god of wisdom, to wise, normalize, watching for the living things, makes protection symbolize also. When you travel, maybe have you seen also, a lot of like monastery, people house, they hang on the wall, this kind of painting is protection of the house, and people are also realize what is our human life, that's a circle of life. It's a more traditional, you, you saw before this kind of painting? Yeah, it's more modern. Oh, Purana Nandaka, Nandaka. 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 Yeah. Modern, it's a, this is very famous also because Dalai Lama, they traveled many different countries. Not only Dalai Lama, other many monks, when they travel, each country, first time, they met on the floor with the sand. That's a, just two masses for the peace. That's what people call the peace mandala. Yeah, so later, the devotees, the monks, are painting on the cotton canvas so people can buy and collection of the art and keep in the home for meditation, divide, decoration. It's a real hand painting, it takes two months, three months, one. Beautiful one. Oh, this one is nice. Yeah. This is for the peace mandala, this one also. But this is a Dalai Lama, it's a Buddha. It's Buddha mandala. We it's saw Buddha. the Kumari house. Always you can see that this is in the mm -hmm. figure of the Buddha also. Oh, yes. <coughs> this is for the peace. And believe like that, this kind of thing is if you have your wall, especially avoid the bad things, makes protection. It's a good relation with the family. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. what sort of wall. And I mean, if you love the smaller one, I have a smaller one also right here. You see the sum of. And this place is belongs to yeah, the like monastery. This place belongs to the home? Monastery, you know? And this is oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, cooperated with the monastery. Cooperated with No, no, cooperated, oh, cooperated. Okay. Like this kind of small one, you see? There's different color combination you can see, okay? Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Five different sizes, different color combinations. 
I can see a yoga mat, friend. Yeah. There's a circle yeah. yoga mat. for yoga meditation as well. Sir. Yeah. 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 You like some stone pigment color? This is from this stone. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 I kind of like this, to be like honest. Yeah. I like the, I like, I like the, I like that like one, the... Like this is, a, yeah, this is blossom. This is a nice, it's it's beautiful. Good. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, would you love maybe this kind of things? You can have some smaller one. It's a small supporting to the monastery. Also. For you, all the best things from the Nepal. It's too hard to carry. Yeah. I have so many months left. I guess yeah, it's going to get wrecked. It's a tube. That's yeah, a no, transportation. It comes hard box. It's a tube. I you have a it. box. You can travel to okay. inside. It's yeah. just the, the hike in uh, the, to the Mount Everest. It's going to get wrecked. Yeah. 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 Put it inside and you can leave it in the hotel also. And it's for the How much are those? Oh. Which one? This one? This one is if you get this is 21 days work. So the cost is you can get this is a, like a, just like a $85 you can get this one. How much? Sorry? 85 US dollars. 85 dollars. Yes, this is 21 days work. And this one is like a 26. If you get this is 130 dollars, you can get this one. It's wow. That's a okay, that's yeah. a lot. That's <laughs> because it takes a long time. These are all by the monk to work, okay? It's a really, it was a handmade. All by the hand. It takes a long time. You see this, all the details of the work. These are all the stone pigment colors. That's one wedding gift. Yeah. Whoa, well, I don't know if we still won't be in here. And same building, ma'am, sometimes if you <laughs> Sorry, if you're enlightened, do you get married? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is more expensive. This is $600. Is it really? And people buy this? Yes, of course, of course. Really? Wow. Who want to collect some art, decorate of their home? No, I, I guess it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I will tell you something, man. This painting, you never lose your money. You know why? When you become over 100 years, you become antique, priceless. A lot of museum wants to collect mm -hmm. the million dollar for it. Like I buy mobile, two hundred dollar. Now I sell nobody by fifty dollar. So painting more old, more bad. Same, same mandala, man. That's the same, same exact same concept. Same mandala. They they a, they make more like modern, you know, like galaxy mantra because you are travels, hiking, like trekking. That's good mantra. It always makes us good luck, peace and protection. You know, like that. Would you like that also I have here? Even that one also. Then the, uh, the all the other this ones. This is mantra mandala. Mantra mandala. Oh. So this is mantra, and this one is also mantra mandala. Mantra mandala. mandala. Sent is same mandala. They make on the center. They can make it funny. I I so haven't got any thing? money. I've got to save money to pay for my electric. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you have to move to Pattaya soon. Yeah. <laughs> All I'm trying to find out is whether I can come back here, for example, tomorrow, and I decide I want to spend this money. Can I? Do I need to go through? Do I need to pay for the entry? Yeah, again? they charge you ticket, you know, one thousand. This is how much nice. if you really like how much you can ready for the pay I don't know, one. I need to think, that's what I'm saying. I'm here for three months. I can't I don't know what the, how much I can afford. This is a nearly like 36 days work to make. Beautiful. I'm not saying they're not beautiful. It says they scripture in uh, Nepalese, right? No, Tibetan. 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 Yeah, they're great. Yeah. Maybe this is good for this you. Would you like to have this one really nice for life? I know, I know. I'm not going to carry it. It's just, I, 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 these are, these are, on my YouTube, these are the things to buy when I come to Nepal. It's almost like uh, when people, uh, when I sh show people, when someone tells me in Nepal, I'll show them this, these videos and say, good, yeah, it's really buy good these. Things because these are the things that people once they collect. Oh. If you, if you want this. This is 45, you can get 45. This one I can send by the DHL. This is one, I want this on the wall right in the center of my house. So if you don't want to buy to carry, they also export from here, from DHL. Thank you for your time. Thank you, thank you for your time. Thank you for Are these also monks' work? 
This also monk. Oh, everything here monk painted. No, no, that's a from Oh, nice. Oh. Hello. Where did they go? Down. Thank you. You know, you think about it. It's not the price. I'll be honest. It's not the price, Giddy. Uh, yeah, Giddy. You have to let your friend know. It's not the price. We come up here. We pay for the like uh, over a thousand bucks for the. Uh, like we pay here for the a thousand bucks a day, uh, easily a hundred bucks, and for a hundred bucks, I'll take the painting. It's not that I don't want to buy it, but it's just I I bring it back, and then I have to carry it. Is that I would definitely put it in my new house, uh, find a wall that is, and then I go, and I I want to study it. I actually want it. I I, I won't mind paying a thousand just to come here yeah. and buy it again. It's just I just. Uh, I'll make you, uh, your ticket extension. Because it's not, it's just like, we, 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 uh, our trekking to uh, Nepal, uh, our trekking to Mount Everest, the average is $100 a day. Yeah, see, and then I go Mongolia, what am I going to do is this item, I know it can be shipped, but I go, yeah, where am I going to ship it to? I don't have a new house yet, so, it's not that. And that, for that price is so low. Are we going to be back to you tomorrow? Do you want to come back here tomorrow? Because I don't think we need to extend those tickets tomorrow. You are coming tomorrow or not? No. No, we don't want to go to the temple tomorrow. Okay, if you don't need the extent, then next time you come, not that one. So you, when do you want to come? After trekking, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So if you want to come after trekking, you know which date you want to come? No, no, we don't. Okay, no problem. No, don't worry. So when you come, you come in there. If you meet me, then I buy a ticket anyway. I can bring you to the painting place. Just come and ask me. Uh, you you want my number or something? You know what? Let's buy it. I'm gonna pay you take credit card. Yeah, they take credit card. Yes. Come. I like the big yes, one. Yes, a genuine painting. Once in the life we buy. It. Yes, it's. Uh, Sorry, single or married? Single? Single forever. Oh. I have three children. No more hunky punky. <laughs> I'm Buddha yeah. that don't leave the children. Oh, and okay. don't leave one. Yeah. So I can't get married if you can be Buddha. Yes, you can be Lama, half monk. Half monk? Yes. Half monk means they also go on monastery meditation, rituals, and they also teach Buddhism, learn Buddhism, and also they can be married as well. That's the Lama. Uh, no, no. How do you know it's 24? You can see the signing, this signing, this is a board see the signing. signing, like here. This all is 24 yeah, karat gold. This, uh, that it's a powder gold. gold. Powder yeah, gold. Powder. Gold, powder. Gold. In a powder. They make dust of the gold. In yes. the end, they finish with the gold. In the beginning, you, they. Uh, give me that piece of paper that describes what you. So I, yeah, I know yeah, it's I'll some. It in the hand. Okay. Oh, show me the other one. Yeah, the, the other one. It's just if you talk about painting, my mom, my mom's painting, I find is garbage. I don't. I'll put it. I go. You you kept your entire life. Like what is this? I go. This to me means something. Yes. My entire oh, life, yeah. I've been discovering. I go. What is? It's a description of the. Holy uh, crap! You have a more. You have a darker one. This uh, one is really. I have another one. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> okay. I like to guard that. 220, no, 240, 250. Wow. Yeah, this is, uh, I look at the art that I have at my mom's house. I actually don't have a, an art that I like, fool. And, and for me, it's almost this like destiny. Yeah. It's like, uh, I'm here with you guys, and I look at it, it's like, whoa. And the other one, yes, but if I'm going to pick one, it, like I look at that one and this one, I still look at this one. Yeah, that's yeah, I, that one caught my eye. This is I have a paper from the monastery also because this, if you buy your money, also goes to the monastery for the rebuild, and they provide us the like yes, a, a yes. certificate also about the painting. 
and description also. I will leave it clear when I will show Trust you. me, I had a dinner that is more than this, and I find this more valuable than the dinner with the three people that I've had dinner with. And this is why I, I'm buying it, Make just to, I, I, what I find value, both. This is a, this is a description, yeah. okay? And here is a, what is a god realms? What is a demi god realms? Human realms, animal realms, hungry ghost realms, they explain here. What is a this god also, they explain here. And why these three things we have? Also, they, here is notice for the three things also. And what is the cause and effect, such so a circle of life also, there's 12 cause of effect also they can explain yeah you invite friends over for coffee you sit there i'm serious in my new house i go which part do you want to see this is this is why art is for your house you entertain your guests about my trip to nepal is it okay if i sit out now yeah yeah you can sit even here inside the room Picture from uh, picture from one year ago. 